are your strategic plans for the farm land conversions? And how do you address the low agricultural productivity among our multitude of farmers in the rural areas? Okay. Um, I totally agree with Lauren on the land use code, national land use code. We've been trying to help from the civil society side, pass this at the uh, President of uh, the Philippine Council for Sustainable Development, and all the time there are tremendous political barriers, and so we're up against the question of governance again. This is creating a lot of conflict. Not only conflict in the mining, not only conflict in the currency, all kinds of conflicts. And uh, there's also one provision that I would like to introduce there, now that you're uh, here, Senator Lowen, uh, and it's connected to land uses of existing farming ecosystems which are highly productive. I would, for example, like to suggest that the Cavite uh, multiple, multi-story tracking system which is rapidly being lost as a result of real estate speculation in Tagaytay and surrounding cities, that is a prime candidate for a land use code that would allow these indigenous practices to be preserved so that they become the future best practices out of indigenous knowledge and science that can benefit agriculture in general. Now, in terms of small farm, uh, farmer productivity, uh, it's important to get to redefine productivity not just as in a sense productivity, let's say labor productivity and therefore bias towards the use of machinery, but we have to define small farm productivity in terms of total productivity, whether it's ecological, whether it's human, whether it's ecosystem productivity. Multiple cropping systems are more productive than monocultures. For example, in total biomass harvest, useful harvest per unit hectare of land. We need to redefine exactly what we mean. And then for the 18% of people living on the uplands, it's important because they're under significant stress in terms of roads, market access, and so on, to create new infrastructures, post-harvest uh, facilities at the village level, which can be aggregated at the municipal level, so that all the waste stage and the low prices that come with potential waste stage are there. 70% of vegetables in Baguio are wasted when they time they reach Manila because there's no proper refrigeration of facilities uh, in the transport system. And finally, the real factor in total productivity is the farmer himself, herself. We need a total approach to re-educating with the farmers on the basis of respecting the indigenous noise, but at the same time seeing how this converges with the latest in agricultural ecological technologies so that we have tremendous productivity even at small scale levels. Thank you.